I'm Samantha Valentine with the CU Astronomy Club. We're here on Pearl Street tonight to clear up some misconceptions that people have about astronomy and space in general and teach people some really cool facts about it all in the process. Definitely though. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing tonight? Hello, I'm ex Orthman. Yeah. How much do I think? <laughs> he says, how much do I think? I'm Kevin Bell. I'm Megan. Uh, I'm Brian. I just moved here from New York State. My name is Matt Berger. I'm a graduate student. My name's Ellen. <laughs> I'm Crystal. My name's Pierre Borzabluck. Like the one in the water, or like peer pressure. That's what I tell people. I'm Shadrin. I'm Dollface. I'm Frank Underwood, <laughs> and I run the museum at CU. All right, first question. How many planets are in our solar system? It depends on if you count Pluto or not. <laughs> like, Enough to blow my mind. Um, hundreds of like exoplanets and all sorts of nifty little things. My very something mother bought us all pepper. That's not how it goes at all. I don't know. <laughs> the one you forgot was her. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have to come out with like Peter, Mars, Earth. Ah, uh, shit. Nine. Yeah. Saturn. Two billion. Oh, come on, man. Big, big. <laughs> Jupiter. There you go. You got it. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Perfect. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Give me a guess. Somewhere between like eight and twelve. Eight is exactly right, actually. Cool. All right. So now, as far as we know. Eight. Eight? Yeah. Good. Yeah, most people say nine, including Pluto. Pluto's not a planet. Eight. Used to be nine, now there's eight. Eight? Eight. What are microwaves? What are microwaves? They're, yeah. wa uh, they're waves. They're like energy waves. Yeah. yeah. And x-rays? Uh, same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah <laughs> just different, different, different wave patterns. Yeah. Uh, pretty small waves. Uh, I can't tell you exactly. I mean, on probably shorter than uh, visible light waves. Microwaves are the things that cook my food. I'm sure you guys don't get that. You know. Things I use to make 90% of my meals. Yeah. Do you know how it does that? With microwaves. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, a, it's uh, a light wave, a wavelength of light, however you would say that. X-ray, yeah. X-ray also uses radiation uh, to... Can you tell me what kind of radiation? A different vibrational frequency, also radioactive. Uh, no, I'd be guess. No. It would be shot in the dark. Okay. Cool. okay Gamma rays. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> no, you're gonna take it back. Uh, X-rays are longer lengths than microwaves, right? They're, they're shorter. They're shorter <laughs> wavelengths. You know. I know it's used for skin bones and how they bounce off of the skeletal system, but I don't really know exactly how they act. So microwaves are light that just have a different energy than the light we used to see. Hmm. Interesting. Didn't know that. And x-rays too. Cool. That's sweet. Microwaves are electromagnetic radiation. Microwaves are a type of electromagnetic radiation. They're all on the electromagnetic spectrum. Um, so if the sun were the size of a baseball, just about that big, where would the nearest star be? The size of a baseball? Yeah. Where the nearest the star be? Uh, I'd say like. I mean, that is. I don't know, like. Tratorino. I mean, at least Eastern Europe? A long ways. More than one baseball <laughs> field. 450 miles. Um, three miles. Quite to the moon? To the moon? Not quite, not quite. Mm. The moon. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, is it within uh, this Earth? Yes. Um, I'd I don't say know, like um, <laughs> further. Yeah. I don't know. I'd India? say far. That pole over there. <laughs> that pole? Would you be surprised if I told you it was in North Carolina? <laughs> yeah. I'd be incredibly surprised. <laughs> oh! You said that I meant the North Pole. I didn't mean that. Part. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not the uh, uh, Kansas City. Kansas, Kansas City. City. Yes. Um, Oh, New Jersey? Mississippi. Mississippi? Mississippi. It's actually... Yeah. <laughs> uh, across the United States. 
Oh, it's like across the country or something like that. Uh, what is the brightest star in our sky? Oh, man. Is it Alpha Centauri? <laughs> Sorry. We had a margarita. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Anyways. Oh my god, I literally just like this. The North Star? Venus. Oh, the sun. <laughs> that's, that's, thank you. I went to college. I have a degree. <laughs> Uh, brightest star in the sky is probably, I don't know, is it even a star? Star, uh, the sun. Polaris. Oh, well, sorry, in our sky, yeah, the sun. Mars. What about the sun? Oh, the sun. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Oh, okay, so I guess Mars isn't a star, huh? The sun. Brightest star in the sky, yeah. The sun. The sun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the sun. The sun. Yeah. What about uh, the night sky, though? The north star. Sorry. No, it's actually serious. Um, not a clue. The north star. Is it Beetlejuice? No, that's like the big one. The no not the north star. Is it the north star? The north star. Uh, is it serious? What is a shooting star? Come on, man, I thought you said they were gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Is this going on Jimmy Kimmel? Uh, a comet? You know, I believe it is some piece of maybe foreign space material. Comet? Isn't it a comet? It like is. a... Like a piece of, like, space rock. That's just on fire, like, heading towards Earth because of gravity flow. Burning up in the atmosphere. A shooting star is a comet, burning up as it's coming into the atmosphere. Or an, a meteorite. Not a comet. A meteorite is when it hits the ground, a meteor is when it's in the oh, air. And passes by. And an asteroid is when it's just in space. I don't know the difference between comets and asteroids, but isn't it just something burning up in the atmosphere? Shooting star is a meteor that's just going through our atmosphere and burning up. It's a meteor hitting our atmosphere. It's a meteorite. A shooting star? Yeah. That would be a meteor. It's a uh, meteor or a meteorite entering the atmosphere? It is something that entered the atmosphere that's burning up. How old is the sun? Oh. Oh, shit. I have no idea. Uh, no idea. Ballpark estimate? Uh, a few billion, mean, billion light. A uh, few billion, billion years old. Yeah. Billion. Good billion. A good billion. Good, good billion. About uh, uh, 21 billion years old. Eight billion years old. Uh, two billion. Hundreds. Billion years. Twenty-eight billion years old. Like billions of years. Yeah. So good. That old. Pretty old. Um, the Earth is six billion, so I'm gonna give it ten. A billion years. Unless looking back, which is um, said hard to do, to go all the way back to when it was. Created. And it would be even uh, more theoretical about it, who created it. So I don't know how long it's been there. Okay. But like 300 billion years or something? Yeah. Pass. Lots of billions of years old. Yeah. Ballpark Mini. Um, Probably, is it about the same Six age as the Earth, which is like 3.4? Four. Four, four and a half. 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 It gets older every year. I actually don't know that one. So the Earth is around 4.3 billion. So I don't know, six, five? Um, I'm going to go Earth is 4.5 billion, roughly. I don't know, sun's around there, so maybe a little bit older. Thought of three billion years. Uh, can you name five constellations? Five constellations. Uh, Pleiades, Orion, Ursus Major, Ursus Minor. The Big Dipper, the Little Dipper. Orion's belt. Okay. Right? Orion. Uh, whatever the scorpion is. Orion, Virgo, Leo, Libra, Pisces. And the seven sisters. Orion, Cygnus. Um, uh, I just did a project on this one, I forget the name of it. Um, is Ursa Major or Ursa Minor in the Zodiac? Uh, it, it was the mother of, um, Wait. Dude with the sword, a A G right? something. Wait. Oh wait, no, no, no. Is Orion's belt or well, Orion? 
I, I no, I, uh, I forget. Wait, hold on, I know more. Um, the one that looks like a W, who's a queen. Um, the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio. Uh, Orion, that's a good one. Uh, Scorpio. Um, Centaur. Mm -hmm. That one, right? The Big Dipper, the Little Dipper. Uh, Orion's belt. <laughs> oh, hold on. What's the one with the archer? <laughs> it's a belt. It's a belt. You got a belt on it. I love how I keep looking up to the stars for answers. Oh, Virgo Taurus? Scorpio? Leo? Those are the ones you didn't want, but I had to cheat. That's all I got. Oh. Canis Minor? That's all I got. Virgo? Libra? No, no, no. Oh, how about we do the big and little dipper? There you go, yeah. Okay. That's, that's five. That's five. That's five. Well, what's, give me the arch. What's the archer? Orion. Orion. How much money, like percentage wise, do you think NASA should get? Um. Of the national budget? I don't know. I think, like, at least 5%. Of the if national budget. It is dedicated for science that's crucial to the protection and the information that we need to know to help protect our planet. 100. <laughs> Only in that case, I think uh, I'd go for 3%. Okay. 3%. 5%? Let's say 5%. Um, polio hasn't been eradicated at zero until polio has been eradicated from the earth. It's $9,000 to send a bottle of water. People are dying of dysentery. But it'll take three seconds to eradicate polio, and then we can put so much money into NASA. She's staring at me. She's an aerospace engineer. I'm so sorry. I know. A whole lot more than like a fraction of like a tenth of a percent. Seventy-five percent of it. I don't know. All of it. All of it? Uh, uh, not all of it. I think there should be a budget for NASA, though. I think it's uh, space exploration is important. Seventy-five percent. Well, it really depends what NASA's trying to do. But uh, I think we should at least throw a good like. I think they should get 10%. 10%? Yeah, I think yes. that's 8%, 10%. Go with 7.2%. Like, depending on what they're working on, to be honest, it should be like forefront. Right. 5%. We should really have a super massive space program. Awesome. But at the same time, we would like to know what they're doing with it. Well, they, they keep very good records of what they do with it. Yeah, them. how about like Area 51 was closed for a really long time. Well, that wasn't NASA. <laughs> we'll see. Still has to do with space. Uh, how much do you think is actually allocated right now? Oh, how much is allocated? Maybe percentage-wise. Uh, oh, percentage-wise. Um, yeah. uh, maybe uh, one-third of a percent. Like 1%? No. Like 0.1%? Not a lot. No. Eight. Uh, Five. Great. <laughs> Probably like zero at this point. Two percent? It actually gets half a percent. Half a percent. Half a percent. Yeah. Half a percent. It's not enough. My guess is they get less than one percent. It's like less than one percent. Point three percent. That's close. Yeah. Point four. Point five. Yeah. All right. That's right. Thanks, guys. Okay. Awesome. You yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Score. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, man. How many classmates are gonna be watching this? <laughs> all of them. Yeah. All right. Well, you that's wildly all we have for you. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks so much. Okay, here's some. Astronomy is cool, but I say it's not as cool as ecology. Astronomies have got their heads in the cloud. They want a lot of money for NASA, I see. But I say, Our planet, you see, I'll give some of my money right away. Oh, because I love you, and I love you, and love you too. Because I think someday that we'll be in the Serengeti. Ooh, if we take care of the planet, some of your molecules from your ear will be part of the giraffe eventually. And you'll become a lion, and I'll become a tree, and you'll become a big 
thing that hung out there. We have Go Big for Earth, man. I'm trying to raise $20 to uh, buy nutritional yeast so I can write 140,000 love songs about how we can do nice things for the planet so we'll have clear, clear air and lovers can lay on the grass and say, look at those stars up there. Let's make love tonight. And the gentleman says, of course, my sweet, make love because we have clean, 